Evening everybody, uh, day 13 update, uh, I'm in Laeg, which is in the middle of nowhere, um, it is about 10 past 10 at night, and as you can see it's pretty much broad daylight out there, because um, that's what happens up here at this time of year, when, um, when they have clear skies at least. Uh, really good day today, really enjoyed it. Um, Felt a bit better today. Yesterday was a hard day on the bike, no energy at all, but I managed to get myself some pasta and an early night last night, and it replenished my energy levels somewhat. Um, not a lot, not a great deal because I'm pretty much running on empty now. But um, but yeah, certainly better than, than yesterday. I, um, I was just tired all day yesterday, but um, better today. Um, only 66 miles uh, out of Inverness and great scenery again. Um, this morning was, we did about 40 actually before lunch, which made this afternoon nice and short. Um, and yeah, this afternoon was just great. The final session we had uh, we had the brew van. Up till then, I'd ridden with um, the sort of usual guys at the back and just. I can't even say take it easy anymore. That's almost my sort of speed now. I've almost sort of slowed down to, to their level where about a week ago I could easily crack on if I wanted to. But now I, I have to manage my energy levels through the day and make sure I don't run out of gas before um, before we get to where we're going, like happened yesterday, um, which wasn't the case earlier in the week. I, was, I could pretty much dig in and, and go. Um, but uh, only to be expected, I guess. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I rode with um, those guys up until the last brew stop, and then we were only about 12 miles to go to um, a crazy little place called the Krask. Um, and it was a cracking road, uh, sort of single lane tarmac road with the odd passing place. Amazing, sort of barren alien scenery. Um, and we're really lucky with the weather, like um, you can see out there, or maybe not with the light, I don't know. Um, the weather just got better and better throughout the day, um, and yeah, it just it just brought the place to life. Uh, so it's whizzing along, um, amazing scenery, um, getting a sense of excitement now because John O'Groats is almost within touching distance, uh, we ride there tomorrow. So a bit of that sort of excitement as well, and um, yeah, I find it hard to explain exactly why I got such a buzz out of it, but it was great. It was a nice, fairly flat road, I could really whiz along, um, there, was no, there was no one else around, the odd car, but it was almost like I was you know, alone in a big desert or something, and just whizzing along at an uh, average speed of about 15, 16 miles an hour, cracking along, it was just Fantastic, that was probably my, my favourite stint of the whole journey. Um, loved it. Then got to the Krask, which is just a, basically two buildings, crazy little place out in the middle of nowhere. It looks like, I don't know, a little house on the prairie or the, the house in Father Ted, if the weather's bad, I guess. Um, run off a generator. Um, crazy old bloke running it. Um, I got there, the Peak Tours guys were there, they were running me back to where we're staying tonight because there's not enough rooms to stay there for everyone. Um, so I just sat and had a pint and enjoyed it while they were getting ready to run me back. And um, yeah, went into the bars, no, no one there, had to ring a bell and then wait about five minutes for this crazy old fella to come down and serve me. And just sat outside in the sun enjoying me and the scenery and my pint. And, um, he had four dogs as well, and they were mental as well. It was obviously living out here alone has um, <laughs> taken its toll. Um, but yeah, great, good experience. Um, so yeah, fan fantastic. Really, really felt up um, that last part of the day. Really good. The weather helped, obviously. Um, but yeah, really got a buzz off it. Um, even 
got a bit of a tan. I don't know if it's sort of um, crept up through over the days or it was mostly today. But um, I noticed when I took my fingerless gloves off that I've got a, a weird sort of finger tan that ends at my knuckles. Not my knuckles, but well, what a, yeah, they're knuckles as well, aren't they? Your joints in the middle of your finger. And um, I've noticed the other guys have got weird sort of tans around their neck where they chin straps and things have been on their helmets. I've probably got something special like that as well. But uh, yeah, bit of a laugh. Um, apart from that, it's just sort of um, enjoying, enjoying the weather. Um, I can imagine it'd be proper nasty up here to, to ride if the weather was nasty like it was a day or two ago. Um, but beautiful place to cycle through when it's like this. Uh, or to visit, you'd have to you'd have to be pretty hardy or just mental to to live here. Though it's can't imagine it. It's it's you know just different world. I thought Cornwall was remote. Um, what else? Oh, we've been told to um, well, we were told in Inverness last night actually to draw money if we were going to need it for the next few days because we're very unlikely to to see any cash points for the next few days now. <laughs> I'm getting properly remote. Um, and that is about it, really. Um, yeah, get to John O'Groats tomorrow in the Seaview Hotel. That place that I've been sort of had fixed in my head for all of my training sessions and whatnot as a sort of motivational target, if you want. That sounds a bit wanky, but um, just something to aim at. Uh, Every, every hard training ride or nasty spin session to think of that place and think you know you need to do this to to get there every every pedal of the cycles takes you slightly closer there and um, that's really true now tomorrow I actually go there and I'll, I'll get there at last even though it's a dump and the, there's nothing in John O'Groats it's just a, well it's just a place to get to and go to isn't it um, so yes, that's about it. Um, it's really hard to think of specific events today, but just a real, a real buzz. Really enjoyed it. My favourite day of the trip, certainly the the afternoon bit. Um, the weather's played a massive part, and just the fact that the scenery is getting remote now, and you, you know, you can tell how far you've come and. How divorced from what, what I'd call normal life, or you know, it is and you know, seeing seeing things you don't expect to, to see in the British Isles, really, snow-capped mountains in in the middle of May or the end of May, stuff like that. It's, um, it's cool. Um, so that is it. Eighty-two more miles to go. Um, yeah, I'll post you another update. Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, we'll probably all be too busy getting pissed when we finish, but uh, we'll see what I can do.